So I decided to cut my fabric for the cardigan out in the lounge room um, as I didn't want to clear the kitchen table yet. Um, I'm using a nice quilted jersey so it should be a little bit warmer. Um, so I've discovered that I had enough fabric left over for pockets. Now the pattern doesn't actually include pockets so I'm using the pockets um, from a recent um, trouser pattern that I made because I really like those pockets. Um, they've got a little bit of shaping in them and I'm just going to sew them to the front but because they've got a little bit of shaping to them they need a lining and so I decided to think outside the box a little bit and I decided to recycle a pair of my daughter's school leggings that had a great big hole in them. Now she's only like nine years old so these leggings are tiny <laughs> so <laughs> I had to um, sort of do a little bit of a test to make sure they fit but you know what? Um, once they opened them up, they fit perfectly. So I managed to get the two um, linings for those two pockets from the um, from the bin, basically. Um, these were going to be sent away to um, a clothes like recycler where they shred all the clothes and make other things out of it. So I'm recycling it at home. So actually, I'm surprised that they worked, um, mainly because she's so tiny. Her legs are tiny, like little sticks. And I managed to, once you've opened it up, you know, it's perfect to get the, the lining fabric because no one sees the lining fabric. Um, I was actually going to use something bright, but then I had some um, yellow dinosaur fabric left over from something. Um, but it turns out there wasn't enough. So that's a good thing. I've got nice black legging or well, legging fabric. <laughs> I've got nice, um, nice dull, dark Hopefully you won't see it, lining fabric for these pockets. And because they're actually old, um, the fabric's thin, so they shouldn't put any bulk into it apart from that initial seam. But once I've seamed it and sewn it on, they should be pretty flat. So you probably won't even be able to tell that they're there, which is what I'm hoping for. But anyway, so I'll have nice warm hands because I can't, <laughs> I can't believe the cardigan didn't have pockets. I need pockets. When do you put your phone in? When do you put your keys in? When do you put your little bags in when you go into the shop and you've got to, you know, you need grocery bags. You, you know, I always take my bags with me, so you need pockets. Okay, so I've just re-threaded my sewing machine with uh, grey thread. I couldn't find black. And I'm just putting the pieces face pretty sides together. Tested it out. I quite like seeing the little bit of pop of light colour. I don't know if you can see there. All right, so let's see how it goes. I've still got the walking foot on from my last project. So we'll see how this goes on this where on this sewing machine. And I'm just going to straight stitch this. Hopefully it doesn't eat it. Are you going to eat it? Yes. I need to put a leader in. All right, let's try this one again. Let's put a leader in. the ends there you go and while I've got that in there I might do this curve use that as a leader It's a working. Okay, so now I have sewed both the curves, like here, and then I just notched the core arm, um, the curve, turned it inside out, and I have top stitched it. And so, where I put my hand in, it's all set to go. But now I have just suddenly realised um, I'm going to be sewing this to the outside. To the front of my cardigan they're actually going to be visible my seams so i actually i'm going to have to go through and 
finish off the complete curve. So um, I'm going to have to turn them inside out again and sew it all again. <laughs> I didn't think about this before, but anyway, this is what happens when you do things that are not in the pattern. So um, anyway, doesn't matter. I shall sew one and test it and see how that works out. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave a gap for turning and um, then I'll top stitch it all. Maybe, should I top stitch it all? Because it's going to be top, no I won't top stitch it all because it'll be top stitched when it's sewn on to, when I sew this onto the jacket, the cardigan, that will be the top stitch. Okay, no, all right, what I did was good. Okay, because I've this, I'm not going to be sewing this onto the cardigan because this is where you stick your hand, but I will be sewing this all the way around, so I don't need to top stitch this. Okay, cool. So, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll turn my sewing machine and I'll sew all this around and then I'll turn it inside out. Yeah, I can do that. And I'll leave a gap and then that. Yeah, that, that's going to work. So I'm going to leave a gap. So I'm just going to do a bit here. Give me you. I'm leave a gap here. And I don't know about you, but when I leave a gap, I actually come out and I sew this way. And that helps it to piece turn under. So I'm going to come back down here. Where's my pocket? There. I'm going to come in. Oops, and then I'm going to come around this piece is actually slightly longer I'm going to remember that it doesn't really matter how bad you're stitching because you're not going to see it. I mean, you just kind of want a nice curve though, because that's what you will see. And then I'm going to have to, yeah, all the way out to the top. I kind of know what I'm doing, but I'm kind of making it up as I go. I have to remember that it goes to about there. It's slightly longer. across to there okay where's my leader gone in you go okay I'm gonna try this one first come here, come here my little end all right so let's trim that I'm just going to trim the corner. I might turn it this way. I'm going to cut off some of this excess bulk. I will cut this out on the card table so I don't have exactly smooth edges because I realised whilst I was cutting it out, the card, the card table dips in the middle. <laughs> but uh, we'll get through. Cut the end off. I might just, well, I don't have to really cut the curve on the corner. Um, and then we'll turn it out and see what it looks like. Yeah, this way. I'm doing it right, I'm doing it right. All right. One. Where's the other corner? Two. And then we should just have a pretty piece. Like a little bit like an applique. I might even get my iron out to press it. All right. Okay, so once I get the iron out to press it, I will have a pretty... Because I'll press these, press these ends down away so you won't see the black. Unless you wanted faux piping, but I don't. So once that is pressed and it'll look nice, and then this will be 
finished when it's sewn onto the cardigan. Okay, got myself a pocket. I'm just going to do this to the other one now. All right. Okay, so it's a week or so later. I think it's more like two weeks later since I first started cutting this out. I struck a problem that I didn't have any ribbing. I was originally going to just use this um, same fabric for the cuffs and the band, um, the, the neckband. But um, when I cut it out, it wasn't stretchy and I couldn't get my hand in. And then I'm like, well, there's a difference between handmade and homemade. And if I was going to do that, it was just going to put it in like the homemade category and not look that great. So I decided to order some ribbing, which I got because the ribbing that I had was a tube. And so if you cut it, it's only like this, no, no, this, this wide. So what's the point of buying ribbing in a tube? I, I don't know. I, um, I don't know. I, I first bought it when I first started sewing the knit fabric, but now I'm moving along in my knit, um, my sewing, not my knitting. I'm um, moving along in my sewing. I'm realizing that some of the stuff that I rushed out and bought is not um, 100%. So um, actually, just to double check this. Um, I found somewhere that sold ribbing as a length, not as a tube, and it's actually an Australian place company called Melco and they actually um oh, it's so stretchy they actually um make this here in Australia so um so I got this I think it's going to go well with a bit of a slight contrast but they don't sell it as a tube it's a big big long piece so the pattern also didn't tell you what you needed for the cuffs the neckline it was part of the actual measurements of the entire um, in the fabric requirements in the tire piece and it's kind of, it took me ages to try to figure out how much I needed I hope I calculated right I hope I calculated that I got more than what I need um, just because I'm not ordering it again which also means I was also thinking I might actually put the bottom of this trim this back up and put the ribbing on the bottom like it actually says in the pattern just to take it from the homemade to the handmade status rather than look a bit dodgy um, actually I quite like I, and I tried it on the length because I was like I don't think it's gonna fit so I just pinned one side um, and it's not like an oversized jacket so um, it comes here right into the middle so then by the time you've added your cuff into both sides it's gonna be fine I just wanted to check that and I like the length because my butt actually I might leave that length and then just oh I don't know figure that out later but now I can cut this start sewing i'm actually going to do most of it on the overlocker and then i think i'll just come back and do the pockets on the sewing machine but i'll come cut this and then i'll start sewing yay weeks later i can sew this so this is kind of where i deviate from the pattern now um just kind of do it my own way so i'm gonna do the shoulder seams first then i'm gonna attach the sleeves at the shoulders and then i'm gonna go attach the cuffs the bottom and then i'm gonna go zoop all the way down the side seams makes sense to me as how I do it but okay let's have a go shoulder seams are joined now I'm going to attach the the sleeves to the curves so we'll do that now so I'm just going to find the top or the center of the sleeve and mark it and then I'm going to join that right sides together to the shoulder seam and if I cut it out correctly it's all going to join and I can't find my pin cushion for some reason so I'm going to have to use clips I don't know about you but whenever I go to use something in this house it always disappears so I'm just going to come around and find the bottom
So I've got these two shoulder seams all pinned in and now I'm just going to overlock those ones. Now these are the cuffs and because I am not sewing them in the round, I like to do things flat. I'm just going to fold and clip them to the end of the sleeves. So I'll fold one side and then I'll clip it here. And then I'm just going to gently find the middle of both. I'm sure there's more technical ways of doing this, but this is my brain. And then I can sew, I can stretch it out to here. It's not too big a gap and I can stretch it out to this side. So I'm going to do both cuffs and then I'll sew them. basically the hard part <laughs> the way I do it this way because um, I just find it so much easier so now I'm just going to match cup ends together and then I'm going to join from cuff all the way down down to the bottom and then that's how I like to sew side seams it may not be professionally finished but that's how I like it well not not that I like it unprofessionally finished I just find it so much easier to sew. So I'm just going to come in here, match the underarms up before I go back and match the sleeves up. I don't like tight sewing the, the, the tight circles of sleeve cuffs when they're done in the round. And I want to do the majority of this on the overlocker. And this is the easiest way to do that. And I'll, easy is quick and when I have to pick up the school I go up to the school to pick the kids up from school soon I want to finish this off otherwise it's going to be ages again so this is the this is the bottom this is the bit that goes around my butt so we're just going to line that up and then just come back up and match all the seams up and I'm going to do this for both sides and then we can overlock that and then we've just got to do the ribbing on the neck and the bottom. project is kicking my butt oh, my overlocker has eaten my threads I dropped the thread on the floor I opened up a new overlocker thread thing and cut the thread accidentally cut the threads on the spoolie thing cause it's really hard to get the plastic off searched high and low oh, I seamed the wrong seam and und undoing an overlocking seam is really hard 
um, search the house for my stretch interfacing, managed to find some. So now I'm just going to iron that on. I have the dog supervising me, the budgie singing in the background. I have 10 minutes before I have to collect the kids from school. So I'm going to steam, iron on the interfacing stuff. Um, by that time, we'll be ready to go get the kids. And then I'm just going to come back and finish it. And then I won't film it because it is so dark outside today. And it has just started raining because that's what normally happens when I have to go and walk and collect my kid from school. It just, that's when it starts to rain. So because it's so dark and gloomy, I'm just, I'm not going to film anymore today. But what I will do is I will finish this because all I have to do is this, the neckline and the waist, which is pretty easy. Well, in theory, <laughs> it's just a straight line. <laughs> just got two more straight lines to do. And I'm going to use poppers down the front and and then um come back with um a finished product yeah which i'll probably have to change my top because you won't be able to see it because it's gray so maybe i'll do that tomorrow when it's hopefully lighter so wish me luck um i'll just go do this ironing now and the dog has started barking at me can you see the dog she's just there in the background hi millie <sighs> apparently she has things to say <laughs> I think she's complaining about the rain, I don't know. Okay, now to iron. now I've done the ironing, now to sew. Oh actually clip the kids from school, then sew. It's finished. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so comfortable, I love the pockets. What do you reckon? I'm going to make another one. What colour do you think? So give me a like, um, subscribe if you want, but I'm going to make another one of these.